Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Display of Color. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Display of Color. This is Scarlett, and we're live. Here's my little hand. Say hi in the chat if you're in there, if you'd like. Otherwise, you can just sit back and watch if that's what you prefer. Please give this channel a thumbs up if you happen to be here at the live. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And if you are watching the uh, live stream uh, playback, then you can always fast forward or mute and put your own music on if you'd like. Um, these are always interactive, specifically so people can see step by step. So they tend to be longer as well, videos. Um, and then they're automatically posted. Uh, Facebook automatically posts them. Hi, my love. I see you. So, just so you're aware, uh, for people who are watching the, the live feedback, um, playback of this live, um, you know, if you want to fast forward, as the, you know, or do whatever you want, you can, of course. I appreciate, <clears throat> excuse me, all your support and everything. So, I hope everybody can hear me just fine. I am noticing I'm going to have to really... Okay, look at this. Instead, because I can't really see that one. Um, for those who are live currently right now, don't forget to make sure you change your live chat to say um, from top chat to live chat. So that way you can see the full chat at all times. And I'm just going to be mixing up some alcohol. I'm going to opening these while we're waiting for people to, to come. Thank you, love. And... The missus is going to be with the toddler, and so she is also modding as well at times. So hopefully the other mods will be able to come and give their assistance and show up just in case she gets a little hectic or something with the three-year-old. <laughs> so if not, I'll just make do. If there's any ever any questions, um, always please feel free to make sure those are the only things you capitalize in the chat. You can chat and hang out and do whatever you want, but if it's uh, bolded, if it's all caps, uh, then I can be able to know that's a question and my or my mods can answer them for you if you have any questions about what we're going to do. But I am going to be using some of these... Um, inks they're acrylic inks sail around the fw acrylic inks i love these specific acrylic inks because they have like a texture to them usually they have a really cool i don't know like a, like gradient texture uh like granulated um i am using a 99 percent isopropyl alcohol because that is all i have Honestly, when I prefer, I prefer to not use 99% when I do like stuff with alcoholics and painting. I actually prefer like 91 or even 70. Um, that's just my preference. I like to use the 99 for my resin. Um, but in order to make acrylic ink into a usable, <clears throat> and I have many videos on this so you can watch Excuse me, I'm sorry, I cannot clear my throat. <clears> throat> Excuse me. Um, of course, whenever you have to speak on a channel, a video recorded or live, you always have like that issue, I swear, everybody does. <laughs> but um, you, I have shown this many times how to make your acrylic inks into alcohol inks. So you have to pre-mix them with some isopropyl alcohol first, put a little bit in here with the ink and mix it that way and then it becomes a blendable where you can flood if you want and pour ink or you can use it as a paint or whatever uh but you can't you can't like paint on it and then flood it or drop ink and then uh drop some of the alcohol and then drop some ink on it and expect it to bloom and flow just like um alcohol inks normally do it will not work that way so i'm just getting a pipe at real quick and of course I try to do as much as I can to prep and all that jazz before when I start alive but this also allows hi Miss Clara people to come in and be able to 
get here and I have a limited time because I do have toddler I always have to set up as and everything and then undo everything as I do it because I can't leave it out for safety so and of course always use your safety gears if you're working in an environment and you aren't on a live like I am I normally would be wearing a mask right now I always have my nitro gloves on of course um, read your labels it is your responsibility to know the safety cautions of whatever products you use so use them at your own risk but please try to be smart and safe and wear eye gear face gear protective clothing uh, make sure you wear nitro gloves um, they're actually better I'm allergic to latex so I can never wear latex but um, when it comes to chemicals, it's actually mandatory to wear nit to use nitrile over like gasoline spill, whatever. It's it will not eat away a latex. It will so just be mindful of things like that. Again, reading your products, knowing about your own facts will help you keep yourself safe. So I am just putting in here. Oh, okay. Okay, no worries, Claire. I'm glad you're here. And I'm just going to make up, mix up some of this green is um, light green by uh, Taylor Rowney. So you have to like, you know, you want to shake yours just a little. It doesn't need to be like crazy shaking, just a little swishy swishes just to mix it. Um, sometimes I like to roll and you can see on your bottom the fluid mixed together. So I just put about one whole squirt full of uh, the eyedropper into a few drops of this. And then I'm going to take my pipette and use it to stir, suction it up and stir just so it's thoroughly mixed. Again, these tend to have a lot of texture to them. As far as the acrylic ink goes, they tend to be more granulated, which is why honestly I like them. Um, they're not as smooth. Um, it just gives it a different look for me. I love texture of any kind. I did already um, use the Golden Crackle Paste. And there was a gentleman who asked in the last video and I realized I didn't show. So I purposely kept it here. Um, but this is the stencil that I use to do the splatters throughout my piece. Um, and it's just a Tim Holtz stencil collection. So, um, and I think they make one in a smaller size and not so big if you don't want it so big. He tends to do like two variations, two or three different sizes, at least two or three. I think maybe this is like the biggest kind. I don't remember if he goes bigger than that, but he, he does do smaller. So if you're doing like cards or whatever, you know, something smaller of an image or something, you just want smaller, whatever. He tends to have like two size options. So just look. Maybe not on everything, but for the most part. So then it's mixed and you're good to go. So I want to do uh, blues and greens on this one. Um, I did do this and I have it sitting here just to show. Um, I did uh, this one off camera. I recorded it, so I haven't had a chance to edit it yet. But I did the foiling, as you can see, if it hits on the light just right. Um, different colored foiling to match the alcohol ink um, and I have UV archival sprayed this and sealed it in and then I did the foiling so hey Jots what's up I always forget to switch accounts I'll be right back okay hi I'm glad you switched how's it going so this was really uh, fun like I said let me see if I could show it to you uh, if it'll reflect better on this one but um, the light hits it just right there you go so you can kind of see the certain touch things are foiled of this violin and this will be and the strings are I just don't know if you can tell there we go it has to hit the light just right you know um, that camera whoop, whoop, wait wait 
Wait for it. I'm trying to get those strings, and this is such a backwards. The camera's always so backwards, so it's like hard to. Ugh, but it goes all the way out. There we go. <laughs> but anywho, where is it? Come on. Just gotta get that light reflection. Anywho, but that was really fun. And so the next step will be to resin this. Um, so that way. And I might do. I don't think I'll do any rhinestones on this one, but definitely on my other one. On this, I may. But I want to do a triptych with. So this is the saxophone, that was the violin, and then I have a third to do with you all on the live to start it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jots. That's awesome. I appreciate it. So let me try to get this back in the position I had it. Oh, it's hard to see now. I'm trying to get all of it to show as much as possible. Okay. Okay. So hopefully that has enough people starting to come in. So that's great. Biggest thing is not to be klutz. I'm such a klutz and I do not want to spill these. <laughs> so. And that's my biggest thing is like making sure I'm not putting things out of the way so I don't spill them. Okay. So I got that one. I'm going to pick a couple more real quick. Russian blue. Ooh, ooh. Oh no 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 no! I'm gonna have to cancel this. Hold on. It's. I hope that doesn't affect. Um. Hold on. I'm trying to turn off this web route. It's trying to scan my computer right now as I'm doing this. I hope that didn't mess anything up. You'll get it, Jots. You rock. You're like, everything you do is, is awesome. You totally got this. You totally can do that massive pour. That'll come out right the first time. I wanted to do a cutting board so bad, and I've wanted to. I just, whoopsie. I just never um, gotten one. Where did I put my this? Hold on. I just needed to wipe this off. And now I got some ink on there. I'm going to try to see if I can remove it. <laughs> Ugh, it splattered. See, this is photo paper, so things stain pretty quickly, unfortunately. That's the only bad thing about that. I'm going to be more mindful. That doesn't ruin my... I'm going to get underneath. I don't get to that. Okay. Oh my goodness, hi Miss Dawn. How have you been? I missed you so. 
again for everybody who's not watching the live playback you can totally fast forward this part you know this just allows people to get in to chitty chat and you know it's alcohol ink so I can't really prepare these too soon because it will evaporate <laughs> so because it's alcohol so eventually it'll evaporate and then I'll have wasted my alcohol and everybody knows, especially right now during COVID, it is very important and very precious commodity and very hard to come by. So this color that I mixed is called um, Prussian Blue. It's a beautiful color. I'm going to do a little indigo. No, I had more pipettes out. That's so weird. Is that I'm losing my my pipettes. Let me make sure. Now, again, because this is photo paper, when I did the crackle paste, like, again, it's going to be really painstaking, and um, I have to be really careful because it's going to want to peel up because I didn't scuff it because I really thought about it from doing it the first time, you know, thinking, like, I should have scuffed it so that way it would give it tooth to stick to, but I didn't want it to mess up, and I don't know where I, I just haphazardly do it, so I can't really, like, scuff the whole thing. I think it would damage it because it's the glossy side of the photo paper. So I just had to um, just a lot, do it this way I did it last time, which means I have to be really careful when I when I drop and lay the color on there with the alcohol inks and the acrylic inks because um, it'll peel up, you know, immediately it'll come up on the thing and you know, which it's never really gonna happen, and you'll see me struggle. But it's just patience and then letting that ink help put put it back push it back down and it kind of give it a little bit of something to adhere to really quickly which is kind of why I go outside a little bit of the crackle paste splatter um, and then you know I seal it once it's fully completely dry with UV archival spray um, that for that reason so that way it helps also kind of just kind of seal it in big time but it also helps kind of keep it on the paper so okay all right so I wanted to do this uh, for those all just coming in I wanted to do this in uh, blue and green tones so we shall see I have Ranger inks I'm going to be using, um, some T-Rex inks, and I also have, um, you know, the Dave Rowney acrylic inks. And I have some brass of the pinata if I choose to use that as well. All the things there just in case and then after all that's done then I will do a uh, colored foiling just like I showed you a little moment ago um, how I did that on the violin the first part which was the violin piece that I had recorded but I will be posting I did in the description box below put a link to that so if you want to watch if you haven't watched that you can totally go check that out the live playback one of me painting it but when it comes to the foiling you'll have to wait for me to get that editing done 
that's a whole other thing right now. All right, so that's hot too. Now I'm gonna turn this to my sale. But as you can see, the texture paste that I add, the splatters and everything on there. Okay. So let's see, where do I want to start first? I think I want to do some cloudy blue. By Ranger, I'm going to add some cloudy blue. I'm just going to kind of place that on here. Now again, when it comes to working on the glossy side of photo paper, you have to be very, 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 very fast. The moment your ink dries, the moment it will not blend any further. It is not like you fill paper. If you want to, you fill paper is really expensive. And if you want a cheaper version of that, then get glossy. Not all glossy paper um, or photo paper could do it, but um, you can always get photo paper and use the back of the side of the photo paper and it'll react like uh, Yupo much better that way. So that way you can afford um, to be able to use, you know, alcohol inks and play with them and do whatever and have the same movement and reactivation and bleed and mixture like you normally get from alcohol ink um, on Upo. But just on the photo paper. I like the challenge of this way of painting on the glossy, but I also like it because it's the truest of color that um, sometimes Yupo and uh, photo papers can, you can kind of see staining and a weird, I don't know, it makes it bleed weird sometimes. Bye Jots! Okay, great. Thank you. Have fun. You'll be amazing. I know you will. Um, but I just, I like the intensity I get with it. I like the challenge I get from it. Um, you know, doing the painting and stuff like that, uh, on this. So I don't know. It's, I like both, you know, I like to do the Yupo because I like to have the, it may, allows me to feel like it's more like a watercolor, uh, when I paint with like alcohol inks against Yupo, so, or the back side of the photo paper, you know what I mean, um, so I like that, but, um, but yeah, I just really like both, it just depends on the mood I'm in, you know, what, what I'm wanting to achieve or what I'm trying to go for, so, um, is, you know, is all that, is what that's about, the look I'm, I'm trying to get. Okay, so let's see. Right, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. Um, to the lights on the lanterns. Just give it a glow.
Let's do a little aquamarine. We uh, have some of the green versus the light green. So acrylic. some limeade in here. So I'm going to use this to dry it real quick. to see everybody. How's your home coming along, Miss Dawn? Everything I see on it is so fun. Oops. Hold on, let me turn my brush way better. Everything I see on what I've seen, Chuck, you're just amazing at what you do. Like, literally, you can do all the things. Yeah, it looks wonderful, Miss Dawn. It looks wonderful. I'm just lightly dapping that lime grain into this crackle paste just so I can make sure it's nice and um, saturated with color, but that way it stays, you know. So I like to get the edges a little over the edges just to make sure it sticks a little bit, but gives me time to be able to, um, you know, maybe I cry will spray it to keep it on there <laughs> even longer and before I can get that resin on there, you know. See, so obviously that's moving, so I gotta just be careful.
So this color is by Ranger. It's called Steam. It's one of my favorite colors of their blues. It's always so fun. Pretty. Thank you, Miss Dawn. Hi, Kate. Hi, Miss Kate. So this is a uh, botanical arranger. A little shade of green. This is lettuce. By Ranger as well. some willow We have some aquamarine. Some 
So I'm going to do a little bit of this bottle by Ranger. I'll put it up in here.
just going to get it to go down slowly without like it breaking. So I'm going to resin this so I need it to stay as flat as possible. That way the resin doesn't remove it and then lift it as it cures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could keep it that way, I would, but again, with the resin, I know it'll. And I'll just not keep it that way and tear it apart. So, fortunately, that cool splatter effect will be not there. Turn this towards me real quick. To do this top part. Can't really see the splatter. color bottle. I don't think people appreciate it as much as they should. <laughs> it's a really neat color. It's beautiful. Sorry if I'm not reading the chat. I hope I try to look up, but then when I see it's just chitty chatting, which is great. You guys are all hanging out. Oh, I see my name. Hold on. No, um, Miss Dawn is asking if I've had that happen where it lifts as it cures. No, because I purposely make sure it stays down. I know, I just, it's common sense for me that it will if I don't make sure it sticks down. So I've never had that because I, I am very delicate. I have yet to put resin on these. Um, but in doing other things I've done, uh, I just know anything you do with resin, like it will seep under and it'll, and these are so light. Like I said, there's no tooth to the gloss of the the image and so I don't want to like scuff it up with sandpaper because I would just haphazardly place it I don't know when I'm doing it until I do it so I don't want to risk um, you know scratching it and the paste not covering wherever I scratched it scuffed it and then it I don't think it would it would cure like you normally do resin you know when you sand it I don't think it would do that I don't think it would fill it in where it wouldn't show because it's glossy photo paper so um, I didn't want to risk it so I just have to be really careful and I just basically pat let me show how I'm doing it actually so I just um, let's see if I can get this to show as well as I'd like um, I'm just tapping in the color and pressing 
Um, so all this was lifted and I had to really rock and push, rock and push so it wouldn't break. But I just have to tap in the color and have a lot of saturation of um, alcohol on my paintbrush. So that way it really soaks and bleeds through and under to help hold it to the photo paper to help it stick. So like right there I'm just pressing really delicately just pushing it in because um, these tend to you know come up on my paint oops see like that I have to just kind of gently so there's not enough liquid so I get more alcohol and more color and I just press that in so the liquid helps adhere and when it dries it gives it a little bit of a stickiness I guess like kind of like a really light glue in a sense <laughs> the ink you know so I just have to be really careful and then when it fully dries um, I'm even more so careful and then I I just rock it a little bit back and forth so that way it gets under and it sticks and then um, when I UV I carvel spray it, it kind of, it, you know, it helps hold it down. So um, that's a big plus for me. Um, and gives me the time to just, again, be really gentle and careful. And then I do the foiling. Uh, where I, you know, wherever I choose, just random again. It's just, you know, where I think, oh, this color will look neat here. This pop, little pop here, little pop there. So again, it's just uh, not, it's not something that could be done quick if you want it to stay put and not break and stay where you took the time to place it. This may not be something <laughs> somebody wants to do if they want to be painstaking about it, but I don't mind because it, it really is worth it again in the long run. So I hope that helps. It helps you to be able to see at least a little bit better. Yes, but in between that, after I, I uh, spray it to seal it in the alcohol inks and the acrylic inks, I, um, I foil it. And then after I foil it, excuse me, then I resin it.
yeah I, I already uh, glued down my um, yeah thanks Gary I already glued down my uh, photo paper to my artist MDF artist board and I have videos on all this type of stuff um, you know just go go to my videos and check them out showing how I glue my uh, photo papers or my watercolor papers down to my artist MDF boards and all that jazz. I have all those link uh, videos for all, all those th different things. Oh, bye, Miss Dawn. Bye, Charles. It was so nice to see you and have you come in. I super appreciate it. Appreciate all the support and love, and I misses you so much. As you guys, stay safe. I know you are, but be extra safe. It's getting pretty hairy out there. I'm just adding it because there's like alcohol ink as it dries. It gets lighter, you know, in certain spots. So I just add where I see and then I just keep adding to just get more levels of depth of color. And it's really, really nice and fun so um <laughs> is it snowing where you are right now Petra The fun thing about the crackle paste too is you can blend the two, you know, and it gets really neat. Kind of like the watercolors concept. And it becomes really, really fun to do. This part's pretty soothing too, honestly. Even if it can be tedious at times, it's, oh, it's fun.
So let's see. You hear that? I'm just rinsing my brush and my um, I spilled the alcohol. Just gonna use some mushroom down here. Some slight. There's that green on there. Some Tina.
Miss Judy. Happy Sunday fun day. <laughs> This one's Patina, this color by Ranger. It's pretty too. Oops. Oh, oh.
Okay, so. Morning to you. What is that oregano?
We are done, and thank you so much. We are having a really great day today. Are you having one as well?
This color is all stream. I'm just having more diluted with alcohol ink. Or I mean alcohol than the ink. That's all. So it's still the same color. It's just less pigment, more alcohol. That part. This one's aquamarine. Also by reindeer. Oh, thank you, Jots. How does yours turn out? You're recording. This is some sailboat blue that I'm going to be using right now. Boop -de -boop -de -boop. Mm -hmm. This is bottle. Or no. What is this? Yeah, bottle. I was right. 
This is meadow color. It's really pretty. So. So one thing it's hard to get sometimes have it fluid because then the color gets like these move so then it gets stuck around what I'm trying to do. It's not moving around on me. It's better to have the paste down for me than it is to like put the paste on after I do all the color because that way, like I said, it flows and bleeds correctly around it. And if it wasn't there, then it wouldn't, you know? So, you kind of choose your battles. It's better, I've noticed for me. By just leaving it on there and blending them. At the same time. Oh, my neck. <laughs>
was that color? This is some of the mermaid.
Oh, you did? And Drops, you played alto sax? That's so cool. Tenor and sax and some color. That's awesome. Thank you, baby. Thank you. For saying it looks great. this mermaid like mermaid and stream are very similar in color of like how much I like them So again, I just like diluted how much pigment was on my brush to ink ratio. <clears throat> so it softens it. Tina and oregano. For this part,
Just add in some aqua. So it's sailboat. Let me do a little sailboat. Just adding a little bit of sailboat just to give it a little bit of contrast. Again, some oregano.
Just adding some oregano on top of the patina parts as well on some of them. Just to give a little fun something, a little splash of mixture. for that fun patina, a real true patina look. Kind of nice. Okay. And then I want to do this in the blue. And the turquoise. Okay. Mm. So I'm just going to add a little bit of
pitch black. So I'm continuing to blow as I'm painting with the black alcohol ink. That way it doesn't uh, keep um, bleeding. But at the same time, I need it to be, you know, more stuff to be dark enough to pick up. So... So as you paint, you know, if you, if it's really, really wet, just try to um, blow, because your alcohol ink will, you know, the alcohol itself will dry. I'm just trying to add some back. You know, and I'll probably. Sorry, I'm talking in blank. I'll probably, um, end up like you know foiling these areas certain highlight areas anyway so um but i'm just putting it back in just in case i don't and that way i just get the illusion two people are under there had a cool blue that I liked. Title Teal. Let's see. Let's put it a little bit. Boop. Just want a hair more of pop on this. Okay, so I think that's all the things. I'm 
looks like to me. Can I move my camera? Yes, I will move it so you can see, of course. <gasps> Gina! Hi! Oh, have you been super busy? <laughs> I'm just get a little bit of... Um, I will, right when I'm done, I do that, so that way I can, you know, stay focused and not mess up. Because, like I said, this takes a lot of time to and patience to be able to do. And since it's on glossy photoside paper, it stains immediately. And it evaporates really quickly, so I have to be really, really mindful. Um, so I always show the close-up at the end for sure. But I am noticing a little, a little bit of bits that I... Of texture paint that I missed. Mm -hmm. um. So just give me a moment. I guess I'm just trying to make sure. I don't miss any of that texture base. I super duper 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 want to be nice and saturated with color because of course as it dries it will lighten so you have to kind of layer it. one right there. It's hard to tell with the white, you know, why it's like, ugh. It's like a way random, but I don't think I'll, oh, there's one. I don't think it's going to highlight that way random, honestly. There's one there. There's one, there's one. Sorry, I'm like trying to see myself. One second. Russian blue on here just to help it stand out just a hair. This is the dollar, uh, Dela Rowney, I mean, uh, excuse me, I misspoke, um, acrylic ink that I made into alcohol, and the alcohol ink just to give a little bit of more texture on these, just if they pop a little on the crackle paste, just give it some fun, let those edges show. Mm 
Okay, so I think I'm loving that. Okay. It's always hard to go back once it's dry. You know what I mean? Once I archival seal it, then I'm like, that's it. <laughs> so I'm just trying to make sure I got all the things. I'm pretty much done. I just want to get that um, oregano again. Okay. I'm also just gonna add the green there. Bring me. I think that was the lining. I'm sure that was the screen. Sweet. Awesome. All right, thank you for your patience. For all those who sat through it this whole time, super appreciate. Okay. All right, let me get. A close up of this. A little bit more of some sunshine. Yellow. Two whites. Okay, so I will spray this with the UVR Carvel Spray, and then I will add the silver foil once it's fully dry to that as well. So I'm glad to see you, Gina. Okay. Last time I spilled my whole 
thing of, oops, I just realized it, I thought I hit the transition button, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> That's weird, I hope I wasn't. Give me one second actually, let me just um, seal my alcohol, because I really don't want to knock this over. I did that last time and I almost had a heart attack, because <laughs> it totally wasted. So, better safe than sorry. I don't know if I have to have those loose inks. <laughs> okay. So hopefully I can do this without making you super duper uber dizzy. Okay. Just mess with the cord. So here's the splatter of the crackle texture paste. And I don't know if you can see the crackle. There. Isn't that cool? I love it. Super pretty. <gasps> hi, Robin! Oh, hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jots. Thank you, Miss Clara. So here's the different... And as you see with it this close up, you can see, like, all the different... Tech, not only textures, but layers of color that really help when you, you know, it is really when you can paint with acrylic, uh, alcohol ink, and as you can see, it's shine on the glossy paper with the alcohol on it. It really does add many, many layers of color and tone, just like watercolor. It really does blend. If you are patient and take the time and get the, you know, obviously the ratio mixture of pigment to, uh, alcohol no different than watercolor and I love 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 to watercolor so I like how it blends in the crackle paste it just blends and bleeds and allows you to really blend um, on this photo paper like I said the glossy side you you have to be so quick to do blending and and things I mean it's possible but you just got to be really really fast uh, because it's really really hard <laughs> but like I said if you did the back side of photo paper it it reacts just like Yupo paper so it does save you a lot of money um, if you have a tight budget with Yupo it isn't the exact same it's super super similar I'm trying to get it to focus there it goes uh, it's super simpler uh, similar excuse me I misspoke but um, it definitely by far is you should always, you know, you should try Yupo just to try it at least once if you get a pack, you know, because they only come a pack of 10, so unless you go to like Blick and get a huge ginormous sheet and then you can cut it up, which also can save you in the long run, but um, if you're going to use Yupo paper or make sure, you know, with if you're going to use heat to blow your stuff, make sure you get the heavy Yupo paper if you're going to use any kind of heat whatsoever. But even then, you still want to be mindful to constantly move and to, uh, you know, and it, and it just dries it really fast. So it's better to use cold air if you're going to move or an air compressor with an airbrush. Um, best not to use a straw, honestly. It's just really not safe to use a straw to blow your inks. You end up inhaling way too much and too close so honestly you really 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 should avoid using a straw as much as possible if you can mm, and stuff like that so <laughs> I'm just showing you the crackle paste and the texture and as you see it's all flattened and down and and all that fun so I am doing these are the people I am going to once let this dry a hundred percent because these are very heavily saturated, and even the inks, are, even though the surface is dry, you still just want it to really absorb and soak and dry. It's pretty sane, though, when it comes to the photo paper, but, you know, just give it that time. Be patient. Spray it. Um, give it one good coat, possibly two. You really don't need, with what I use, you do not need to be doing three coats or something crazy. You could be as heavy-handed as you want with this stuff. It will not reactivate, and it will not bleed your inks as long as it's the matte version or um, satin. Do not use semi-gloss or gloss. Any kind of gloss or semi-gloss will reactivate your inks 
and it will literally dry invisible. It's weird. Uh, but use the UVI Carbon Spray Crown. It's the only thing I've ever used. Matte and satin version, both I have used. In fact, the first, the only thing I could get was satin, and it totally is fine. You could be as heavy handed as you want to do one huge coat, and then, you know, or two light coats. It doesn't matter. So you don't need to do three or some crazy excessive multiple things, buying different things at all. Um, with that, you cannot go wrong. So this is going to be a triptych series. I did do the violin and I will show you that again right now for those who are just coming in now or who've been around and, didn't, and missed the beginning. But um, so that way you can see what I mean by the foiling. So give me a moment to try not to make you too dizzy. <laughs> I'll move this. But um, that version, I'm actually going to do two sets of them. Because I wanted, there's two. I just realized you might not be able to hear me. There are two uh, different kinds of, um, on the next uh, one I'm going to do on next week's live. There are two different kinds of, of the same picture because I want to do um, one in red tone, it's, and I wanted to do one in earth tones, and I couldn't choose which, I wanted to do both. Um, in fact, I almost did the violin in red tones, so, um, I ended up going <laughs> to do two sets, but, um, but this is meant to be just like a triptych type thing of funness. Let me get the angle right, because I can see it. Why can't the camera? I gotta figure out how to hold this so you guys can see the glare. There we go. So I did just foiling and I put pops of color on the foiling. I'll have it angled really harsh so that way you can see the reflection of it. Um, but I use different colored foils uh, to do just a little bit of hints of pops of color to have fun. Um, So there's some right there, as you can see when it highlights. Um, it also is reflective. Some, some of the times it reflects like other color that is next to it or whatever. But I use several different little areas to highlight. So I highlighted, um, there's some reds down at the base. I did want to try to find a stamp because the music notes in this part kind of got hidden washed out as as I was um painting you can see a very very light this is all music notes and up here is music notes and I I wanted those to be done in the foiling but um it you know it kind of got more washed out the more layers of paint I add of alcohol inks I added down here so you know, my people almost disappeared too with washing them out. But um, I definitely want to try to find. I thought I have a stamp that has like little music -y note things, so I can just stamp it and then foil. Hopefully, you know, I, I want to do a red down here. That red is like the bombest red, and it's not showing up. Come on, show up. <laughs> uh, there, that's better. But um, it's really crisp and awesome. Sorry if I'm making everybody dizzy. And again, on the live playbacks, you can always fast forward whatever you need to do to be able to see, you know, whatever. So this is the violin piece that I did first. This has no resin on it. It's just sprayed with the very Crival. And then I did the foiling um, on here and different colors to go with whatever, you know, the purples, the pinks, the oranges, the blues, and the tones that match and the silvers and and the gun medals and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so please don't forget to thumbs up. Um, my channel it really helps. All the things you can do that are free to support. You can always um, follow me on the Facebook. The links are in the description box below. Uh, and my Etsy, uh, Etsy store isn't up to date. I literally just haven't had a time to up to date it. So if you message me um, via Instagram link, it's also description box below or you know, personal message me or DM me and um, 
my Facebooks or links that are in there or the Instagram and ask, you know, what's available or whatever. I can send you pictures if you want to buy anything, uh, Christmas ornaments. Um, I do custom. Everything on my channel is for sale unless it's a custom piece. But you can always ask if it's still available or if um, you want something done custom. And, um, uh, but everything helps by watching the videos and as well as, you know, thumbsing up and leaving comments if you may, if you can also, um, you know, be polite, be kind <laughs> to whomever you're leaving comments to, of course, um, stay safe, everybody. Um, and I am always grateful and I'm so thankful for each and every single one of you. Happy arting and God bless. Have a great one. I'm so glad that I was able to see so much doc fam come in. Love to you all. Bye.